Honda calls their system, and probably Honda, like in the domestic lineup, the most aggressive automobile manufacturer is General Motors, especially in 2019 with their dynamic fuel management. Honda, as far as imports goes in the United States, domestic, is the most aggressive in cylinder management. They call their cylinder management variable cylinder management can operate in three-cylinder, four-cylinder, or all six. It can be a V6, a V4, or an inline three-cylinder. It can work on one, con one whole bank. First in 2005 with the Honda Odyssey. Certain things have to happen before the computer will decide to go into uh, cylinder management, or as Honda calls it, variable cylinder management. The engine has to reach an enabling operating temperature. The rate of which the nut between the seat and the steering wheel is moving the pedal, which is tied to the pedal position sensor and goes into the computer, that tells the computer the driver demand. The computer knows torque through crankshaft velocity, looking at the rate of speed that the crankshaft accelerates between firing points. So it knows torque, it knows the amount of airflow coming into the engine through mass airflow or speed density map sensor calculation. So it looks at airflow, it looks at driver demand, it looks at what is the desired torque level based upon the airflow and the driver demand, and it will make the decision whether or not to go into cylinder deactivation. Again, the benefits are no fuel delivered to the deactivated cylinders, throttle increase to reduce pumping losses, increase airflow to the working cylinders, which increases volumetric efficiency and fuel economy. Annoying vibration, especially when the Honda goes into three-cylinder mode. First thing the engineers do is try to dampen the vibration of an inline three-cylinder tied to a, nut, to a V6 or the other cylinders not doing any work. This is one of their solutions. This is the engine mount. There's three engine mounts. They are computer-controlled hydraulic electronic engine mounts. The computer has a separate module that we'll look at because I do have a Honda Odyssey coming in shortly. Premature failure of controlled engine mounts, they're $400 each and there's three of them. You do have, as I said, bi-directional controls with your scan tool and you have separate data pits to look at it. So they're using the hydraulics and shifting that until they can adjust the uh, vibrations out of being in either inline three-cylinder or V4 mode. The other problem is when you're in three-cylinder mode, the exhaust has the dreaded drone, worse than any other manufacturer when you're running in three-cylinder mode. So Honda's engineers have a unique feature. The infotainment system, regardless of what you're listening to, it will put a sound 180 degrees out of phase from the sound of the drone coming from the mufflers and cancel that drone out. Now, obviously, if you put in a aftermarket stereo system, it's not gonna have this feature. So you just got a new stereo system, you put it in and you hear this drone. You're thinking, I bought a defective stereo system. No, you took the factory system out that has automatic noise canceling for the inline three cylinder. Honda has a problem just as any other manufacturer that oil can migrate into the chamber causing low speed pre-ignition and detonation. You can see you can end up, some vehicles come in with a flashing check engine light, not because the cylinder management system has failed, because the oil or the spark plug is completely covered in oil and uh, now it's a, a misfire. It's carbon on the pistons. Again, you want to make sure that you use tier two fuel and make sure that you use the right oil. There is a factory TSB because of this problem of oil consumption to replace the pistons, the ring, and the piston pin. You can also ingest so much oil into the combustion process that the oil will make its way to the catalytic converter and end up setting catalyst efficiency codes PO420 and PO430. Many customers want to do away with the cylinder deactivation on a Honda. Um, they don't like the feel. They know they're going to give up some fuel economy. 
especially if they had Honda replace the piston and rings because of the system. So the aftermarkets come with some unique features. I know on a domestic lineup on a Chrysler or a GM, we can plug in a device that turns it off. We can program the computer with aftermarket software to turn it off. I don't know of anybody that has aftermarket computer programming for Honda, but leave the aftermarket to figure out. They can plug into the coolant sensor harness a 100K resistor, which tricks the computer into a different temperature, and the computer always thinks the engine's colder than what it really is, and it will never go into active, uh, active cylinder management. This device is called the MaxiLink. The piston ring, piston problem was so big on the 2008 to 12 Accord, the 8 through 13 Odyssey, the 9 through 13 Pilot, 10 to 11 cross tour and 12 cross tour, that there was a class action suit that affected 1,593,755 units. So it was basically a recall, not a recall, but a campaign for high oil consumption to replace the pistons and the rings on these engines. So oil migrating into the combustion chamber out of all the manufacturers on the import side is definitely a big problem for these particular Honda models.